Winter Dona is one of the first asylum seekers to stay inside the Sunset Park Recreation Center, closed for construction, but now being repurposed to house migrants. Sentimos bien. Bueno, voy a hablar en... In Spanish, Dona tells us he's grateful to have a place to stay. He looks forward to getting a job and getting on his feet. Both the Sunset Park Recreation Center and the McCarran Park Play Center in Williamsburg are part of a new city plan to use the public park system to house the overflow of asylum seekers, mostly single adults. Alexander Rappaport helped set up a makeshift welcome center in Sunset Park, distributing food, toiletries and clothes. He says neighbors have been stopping by with donations. It's real New York, neighbors to neighbors, giving a, welcome, a welcoming vibe. And that, that's that's the idea, and that's that's what this tent stands for. Spaces like this, community spaces, are just like a great opportunity for people to get what they need, and you know, so that they can live, you know, the lives that they dream of. The city says it's directly caring for more than 56,000 asylum seekers. In total, 95,000 have arrived in the last year. Saturday marked one year since the first bus arrived from Texas. State Assembly Member Marcella Matenas, who represents Sunset Park, wants the city to focus on more permanent housing solutions, where people will go after the recreation center. We need to talk about how are we going to keep people in their homes and how, what kind of, uh, what are we going to do about the long-term affordability that everyday New Yorkers need.